In this tutorial, we'll remove flight plan discontinuities in both Airbus and Boeing aircraft. Let's get right to it. Starting with Airbus, this technique is valid in the default A320 fly-by-wire A32NX and Phoenix A320, as well as the headwind A330. First of all, if we've got GPS primary in our scratch pad, just hit clear and that will disappear. Now let's clear the flight plan discontinuity. So once again, we'll hit clear on the FMC keypad and we'll hit the left soft key next to the discontinuity. If you see this screen, just hit the right soft key next to temporary plan insert. And that's it, the discontinuity is gone. Let's check this on the plan view. So we'll change our ND modes to plan and we'll use the up arrow on the FMC to scroll through our flight plan. You can see here our flight plan is now continuous from runway to runway. With the flight plan checks, just turn the ND mode back to arc. And that's it, you're ready to fly. Moving on to Boeing, this technique is valid for the PMDG 737, the Braddock 737 MAX, the default 747 and the Captain Sim 777 with or without salty mods. First of all, if you see nav data out of date, no problem, just hit clear. Now let's clear the discontinuity that we can see on our legs page. So we want to click the soft key next to the waypoint after the discontinuity, click the discontinuity itself and hit execute. You can now see that our flight plan is connected end to end. If we now change the ND mode to plan view, we can hit the right soft key next to step on the FMC to step through our flight plan on the ND and make sure it's connected end to end. This all looks good and the flight plan is connected from runway to runway. So we'll switch the ND back to map mode and we're ready to fly. And that concludes this tutorial.